G'day guys, welcome to this episode of Aussie English. I'm your host Pete and today we're going to be focusing on one simple trick to sound Australian. Let's go. So in Australian English guys, and I'm sure other dialects in the English speaking world, we often pronounce the ing on the ends of verbs and adjectives as an un sound instead of an ing sound. This is laziness on the part of English speakers, guys, where we're not pronouncing these vowels in words that aren't emphasized very well. So we're pronouncing them as an uh sound instead of whatever their respective vowel sound should be. This sound is made by not moving the mouth very much. You kind of just barely open it and make a sound like a zombie uh, or a chimp. Uh, uh, uh. What are some classic examples? In Australian English, you're going to hear people say all the time, how's it going? How's it going? So this is obviously how is it going, but it requires way too much effort to say it like that. So we say, how's it going? Another example, what you doing? What you doing, mate? What you doing? This is what are you doing? But again, too much effort required. What you doing? What you doing? One last example before we get into the exercises is, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And this is, are you kidding me? Are you joking with me? And instead of saying the ing, again, you're gonna hear us say the un. Are you kidding me? Are you joking with me? So let's go through a list of the 10 most common verbs in English, and we'll change these from, say, being into being, and then use them in a sentence. Let's go. Being. Being. He's being annoying. Having. Having. She's having a break. Doing. Doing. I'm doing my homework. Saying. Saying. We're not saying much. Going. Going. We're going home. Getting. Getting. You're getting tired. Making. Making. She's making a fuss. Knowing. Knowing. He's all knowing. Thinking. Thinking. We're thinking. And the last one, taking. Taken. I'm taking it off. So that's it guys. One really simple tip to change your English to sound a lot more like an Australian and probably native English speakers elsewhere in the world. Change the ing ing into a sort of schwa n or an en sound that sounds more like an un. Going, going. Doing, doing. Taking, taken. Making, making. I hope that helps guys and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. G'day guys. I hope you enjoy that episode of Aussie English. If you want to learn how to use what we learned in this video naturally and effortlessly like an Aussie English speaker, go down into the description and click the link. You'll get instant access to all of the bonus content for this video that will take you through a step by step process to learn exactly how to use this just like me. You'll also get access to all of the bonus content for the podcast, which you can listen to anywhere, anytime to work on your Aussie English. So go over there, click the link in the description. I know you're going to love it and I'll speak to you soon. See you guys.